Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to give you seven ways to spot a bullshit muscle building workout. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas that turn into videos is just like this. So you have your workout and you're not getting the results you want and you're not sure. Is it the workout? Is it me? Do I suck? Is there something I could improve in the workout, etc.? I'm going to cover seven things in this video that can help you decide what's wrong. Do I need a tune-up? Do I need an upgrade, etc.? All right, number one, there's no body part balance. Now, I see this a lot. Somebody that's been studying programming like me for, for decades, really easy to spot. But for somebody like you, you're not used to looking for it, so you're not sure. So body part balance, what do I mean? Well... I signed up for newsletters to some of the top YouTubers uh, a long time ago. And one of them, I'm not going to name names, sent me their great workout uh, via email newsletter. And over the course of a week, and this is really what you want to look for, over the course of a week, there was like 25 sets for chest and like 12 for back and like 9 for shoulders. Complete imbalance, right? Complete imbalance. There was like 15 sets over the course of a week for bicepticons and like something like eight for triceps. Really unusual balance. So what you want to look for when you're looking for body part balance is balance between chest, shoulders, back, and quads. Now, they don't have to be exactly equal. The quads can take a little bit more beating. Uh, the back can take a little bit more beating, but you have to understand a couple things. You have limited number of hard sets you can do over the course of a week, limited number. So understanding that if you're really loading chest and not balancing your back shoulders, et cetera, quads, it's just a bullshit workout. It was just created by somebody that doesn't know programming or is, is either or is either pandering to you by giving you more chest and bicep work. So look for that balance. Uh, you also wanna look for that balance when it comes to things like traps, hamstrings, biceps, uh, triceps, etc. Now that they have to be around the same, around the same. Triceps can take a little bit more beating than the biceps, obviously, so you can have a little bit more tricep work, but you wanna look for blatant body part imbalances. All right, running long already. Number two, no defined progression approach. This is a to-do list workout, okay? You got exercises, bench press, and you got a list of uh, sets and reps, and then dumbbell bench sets and reps, but there's no defined progression approach. There's no, uh, when you hit this, you add this. When you do this, you move up on this. If it's just a list of exercises with no progression approach per exercise at all, that's not a, that, no progressive overload equals no hypertrophy. None at all. So if you don't have a defined progression approach heading into your workout, you're basically screwed. All right, number three, not enough big hitters per body part. What do I mean? Well, let's move beyond just uh, dumbbells and barbells here and look for really impactful lifts. So you could see chest, you could see uh, a bench press, <clears throat> excuse me, bench press variation, a dumbbell bench variation, uh, maybe dips, maybe a plate-loaded uh, chest press. So you got like four bigger hitters. They have a lot of room for progression. Then you look over at shoulders, and a workout might have a, a military press, and then front laterals, side laterals, back laterals. You have one big hitter on shoulders, and you have like four big hitters on chest. You want to look at that because those should be pretty balanced. You don't want to lean on one body part more than another just because you don't want to work that body part. If you have three big hitters in a week for chest, like let's say a bench, a barbell variation, a dumbbell variation, and let's just say a plate loaded chest press, all right? That's three big hitters. You really need three big hitters for everything else or around the same range. You shouldn't be favoring one body part because that's just silly. That's that's That doesn't apply the best approach from head to toe. All right. Um, what do I, where am I at? Uh, I did no big hitters, uh, not enough big hitters per body part. And uh, no big hitter balance for body part. That was number four. So number five, arbitrary rep schemes. Arbitrary rep schemes. 
This is what I mean. Have you ever seen a workout that says something like bench, four sets, 12, 10, eight, five reps, okay? Or squats, five sets, 20, 12, 10, eight, five, whatever. They just have all these numbers, uh, and, but they have no explanation of when to progress or how to implement them, how to change loads, right? Obviously, if you have different rep ranges, like you say bench four sets and it says 15, 10, eight, and five, you're obviously gonna have different loads. You're gonna have different progression approaches. One, what do I progress on? The 15, the eight, the 10? Is one uh, tied to another? So if I add weight on the 15, do I add weight on the 10? These are the, this is a big indicator of bullshit, bullshit uh, workouts where they just kind of list a bunch of random numbers with no explanation how to implement them. And it's just trying to baffle you with bullshit. It looks complicated. It looks sexy, but basically it's no different than an idiot rolling a dice and saying, do six, four, seven, five, three, whatever reps. It's just bullshit. If it does not have, if it does not tell you how to load the set and when to progress on the set. All right. Six, number six, way too much volume, fluff and pump work. Okay. Uh, progression and workout intensity would kill you here, would kill you here. It basically, a lot of times people that don't know how to program will just fill the program with a lot of bloat to make it look sexy or impactful or impressive. You know, they'll they'll put in a bunch of exercises and they'll bloat it with volume because they don't know how to program. So what are they going to do? They're going to stick in extra, extra exercises, extra sets. They're going to stick in what we just talked about, random rep schemes and all kinds of bullshit. In reality, if you start to add up this volume over the course of a week, you realize that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, work. That's a huge workload. That's basically a lot of fluff and pump work. It's a lot of junk volume, etc. If you can do more than, here's my rule. I like to aim for, me personally, four workouts a week, 15 max, 18 hard sets a day. So the 18, let's say you're at the top end. That's 72 hard sets a week. You get there, you're doing really good from a hypertrophy standpoint. Now, you look at one of these fluff and pump junk workouts where the individual doesn't know how to build workouts and they're just sticking crap in there, it's probably going to be well above 72. So what does that tell you? All of a sudden, let's say you got a workout that has you doing 122 uh, sets per week, right? That's 50 over what I do. That's a lot of junk. You can't maintain intensity at that level. So it's it's going to be a lot of wasted junk, a lot of filler junk. And basically I ask my I wonder has this person even tried that workout. All right, <laughs> number number 7 or uh lacks reasonable variety or uh, of of exercises or only focuses on barbells. Okay, what do I mean? If you look at a workout for hypertrophy or muscle building and it's just using one tool like that's only used barbells it's crap it's really crap now don't lay an egg don't get all bent out of shape right i'm not saying barbell exercises are crap but if you want to if you want to build muscle you need a need a reasonable degree of exercise variety now some people uh, ask me hey, this lift is kind of the same as this lift, so should I do both lifts? Well, no two lifts are exactly the same. That's kind of a lie. You know, that's kind of a lie. Like dumbbell bench and barbell bench, kind of the same thing. You're lying on a bench and you're pressing away from your chest, but it, they impact the body differently. So you want, you want a reasonable variety of exercises that will impact the body. Um, so just doing limiting yourself to only barbells is foolish. Limiting yourself to only dumbbells is foolish. Limiting yourself to only machines is foolish. Limiting yourself to mainly isolations is foolish. You're getting the picture here? You want a broad spectrum of exercises because that is going to be best for hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is like a, is like a shotgun blast. You blast here, there, here, there, here, there, and then it all adds up and hits, hits the body 
like a in in a broader way, a broader spectrum, if that makes sense. All right, number eight, and this is a bonus one, or number seven. I forgot, I lost track of numbers. You made it. Just a little humor here. Don't get triggered. You can tell if it's a bullshit workout if you made it. Now, you're like, oh, this guy's full of shit. This guy's got a big ego. This guy's full of crap. But seriously, and, uh, and uh, it's funny, but it's kind of true. A lot of people on a weekly basis will send me their workouts via Instagram or email or whatever. And they're trying. They're trying to build workouts, and there's nothing wrong with that. But they're missing a lot of this stuff, you know, body part balance, and they put down complicated rep schemes and put down, you know, this, that, and the other thing. They they don't understand structures of workouts. So a lot of times when people build workouts, there's a lot of blind spots. So what I would recommend for you is to educate yourself. Look for body part balance. Look for exercise balance on the big hitters. Have progression approaches. A lot of the things I just talked about in this video, get your workouts up to speed and then have somebody check them or you check them for these things and then bounce them off me and say, hey, big hairy ugly dude, I think I got body part balance. I think I have enough big hitters per body part. Uh, I think I got a progression approach, etc. Does this workout make sense? So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.